Good morning, my name is Marco. I am a Mexican American and I support Donald J. Trump for President of the United States. I'm back home from Vegas. I had a great time. Uh, Medium wish there's uh, book signing went perfect. Uh, Wendy Masaro, Angelo um, Gomez, thank you so much for your hospitality. We were able to uh, spend some time at the Trump Tower. We were at the pool, we were having fun. But I'm doing this video in response to a weak ad that Politico did against uh, Latinos for Trump. And listen very careful what I'm gonna say. Um, we need help from all the Donald Trump campaign and uh, Americans and, and everybody that support Donald Trump. Latinos for Trump need your help because they're going after us, okay? They put this ad uh, and they're portraying as, as the, the title of the ad is The Lonely Lives of Latinos for Trump. And then they go on and, and uh, first of all, the, the, the way they came to us, they interview us and, and they twisted everything we said. And they, this. but you know how sad this is? Samuel has two likes, two likes on his, uh, <laughs> on his post, you know, his Twitter account. And his boss with political has 23. If you hashtag Latinos for Trump in the response to the political article, you will see hundreds, if not thousands, of people going after this political guys. Because that's what supporters for Trump do. We stick together. And now I see in, in the political page, the Twitter account, I see they're going after um, Stephen Miller. And Stephen Miller is the guy that warms, warms up the crowd for Donald Trump at the beginning of the rallies. And I think he does a great job. Uh, I've been listening to what he said. I even printed uh, his, um, his words. And basically, he just tells us what we already know. Uh, he tells us that, you know, first, he, he, thank, he thanks all the, the supporters for the love and dedication uh, to, to helping Donald Trump uh, make America great again. And then Stephen Miller tells us that very rarely in history a society has a chance to make such profound change in our political system and change uh, um, the status quo. He also says that uh, it's crucial um, that we take this opportunity that's before us. Um, he talks about how um, we, uh, the American people, have been betrayed um, by the politicians year after year. Uh, he uh, talks about all the policy, how the, uh, Donald Trump pro uh, promises to build the bo uh, to seal the border. He talks about how the manufacturing jobs are going uh, to Mexico, and we need to bring those back. Um, he talks about the, the after the eight years, the special interests uh, are more powerful than ever. Uh, there has never been uh, a wider division of rich and poor in, in, in history than it is with Obama right now. And um, the control of Wall Street is, is it's, it's, uh, it's perfectly Wall Street controls our lives right now. And he talks about something that I talk about a lot. He talks about the American dream dying. I am going to write a book with uh, you guys' help and with Miriam Winchester's help and, and Wendy Masaro. Thank you. She's going to help me. Wendy Masaro will have Roger Stone in Vegas in September. And I plan to be there. Because I want to ask Roger Stone for help with my book. And the name of my book is going to be Defending the American Dream. Because the American Dream is dying. And in the industry for which I work, I see thousands and thousands of families losing the American Dream. Losing their homes, losing their jobs. Um, not uh, being able to provide for the family. And they can't find a job. They can't get a raise. They're underemployed underemployed uh, um, so political what, what they're trying to do is they're trying to debank uh, Latinos for Trump 
but they're not going to be able to. Because let me, let me tell you something.